the truth. What up, ladies and gents? W welcome back. W how's it going? Good to see you. Good to talk to you. It's time for the Update Aquatic first look. Now, this is a new update to me. I haven't been following uh, too, too much, but I want to see what the hype is all about. Hopefully, you guys will uh, enjoy the experience and maybe learn something new if you're like me and haven't uh, haven't been following. So, as you can tell, I am in the beta. If you want to follow along, you do have to be in the beta, and if you guys don't know how to do it, whether you're on iOS, Android, Windows 10, whatever, um, just let me know. I might do a video if there's enough people needing the help. So here we are, I'm in a review world that <laughs> it was created by gfriend underscore uu28. <laughs> Interesting name, yes, but they did make a fantastic map we're gonna go through today, and hopefully it's gonna teach us a little bit about this thing. Looks like I take the items out of this thing. Oh, okay, a whole bunch of enchanted apples, we'll grab those. Also, some cool, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm pretty stacked now for <laughs> for this review. So we got a whole bunch of diamond tools with enchantments, some armor, and then there's a change log book here. I kind of want to see what's inside of that. It says, hey there, I'm Yuju28. This is my first map submitted on MCPEDL. It's so far so good, my dude. Here's the change log. The new fishes are cod, salmon, pufferfish, and tropical fish with 3,072 variants. What? That's actually insane. There, uh, that's nuts. <laughs> Holy cow. Also, kelp and seagrass were added with the dried and block variants. A ton of new coral fans. Uh, the dead versions as well and also coral blocks too moving on to the next page uh more more stuff we also have shipwrecks icebergs buried treasures uh new trap doors buttons pressure plates uh for birch acacia spruce jungle and dark oak a brand new mob, the Drowned Mob. Uh, also, tridents with different enchantments as well. That's a whole new thing I need to learn about. New swimming animations, stripped logs, blue ice, the ability to leash boats, and uh, the old fish texture has been replaced. So that is that for the change log. We'll come back if we need it. Let's take a peek at the signs, and then we can start actually looking at some of these things. So it says, Hi, I'm Yuju. This is my first adventure map. I hope you like it. So we will review the features of the update aquatic you need to follow the path that I made every feature has a book on it if you want to see the biomes follow the gray path I made I hope you like thanks and a map right here too this is a very very helpful spawn um so we come over here and it looks as if oh we can start with uh, with some of these new fish so inside of the chest we have different eggs uh, cod eggs puffer fish eggs salmon eggs and then the tropical fish eggs we also have the book we can learn a little bit more but these are are some of the things so we'll have some nice graphical overlays of the thing itself but the cod is uh, is a fish that spawns in any ocean biome except rivers which is cool it always spawns with a group and when they die they'll drop their bones and a model of the fish and that's the same uh, with all the other fish as well and they also come in two different colors brown or tan up next the salmon this one spawns in cold and frozen biomes as well as rivers. The salmon is the biggest new fish. It always spawns in group and it's usually red and green. Um, I don't know if there's variations, I guess we'll find out. They spawn as babies when they mate, however, you can't breed them, so they'll just do that naturally. The third type of new fish is the puffer fish. It's, uh, it's dangerous if you attack it, uh, but I think it's neutral if you don't. It'll poison you for eight seconds, which is uh, pretty serious stuff. It has three different stages of growth, which I'll show uh, in the video. It's the only fish that spawns solo. These things are lone wolves. They're often found in lukewarm oceans, which is a different type of ocean, and they come in a yellow and light brown color. And finally, the tropical fish. It has 3,072 variants, so you're going to find all sorts of different ones uh, having different colors, sizes, lengths, all sorts of different traits. So, pretty cool uh, in that aspect. They spawn in the same biome as the puffer fish do, uh, and they always come in groups, and they follow 
uh, groups within the same color palette, which is actually a really cool feature. So that's definitely pretty cool. What is your guys' favorite fish? Let me know. Let me know. One of the coolest parts about this update, for sure. Also, I think that this is supposed to be an aquarium. It's really hard to see inside, though. I, I see a little bit of movement. N not too much. So this is new. I don't know what that block is. This is definitely kelp. This is the new seagrass. What is this, though? What, what is this called? Dried kelp. Okay. So then this must be the crafting recipe for the dried kelp block. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. And it's just a construction block. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I could see this being useful in some designs. It looks kind of like hay, but darker, so that that's actually pretty cool. And of course, we got a book about the sea plants as well, so I'll take a look at what we got in here, and of course, I'll have nice video overlay as well. So kelp spawns in any ocean biome, and they grow to the very top of the water, and once they hit the top, uh, they'll break, and uh, the texture is also animated, which is really cool. Seagrass is kind of similar, much shorter though, it's basically like the tall grass of the ocean. You can bone meal it just like regular tall grass, you can shear it just like regular tall grass, but it is animated, which is really cool, and once again, it spawns in all of the ocean biomes. So if you cook up kelp, you can create dry kelp, and then if you eat that, it'll actually restore one bar of hunger, which is pretty neat. And they can also be crafted into the block we saw, which you can uh, use as fuel, uh, as well as a building block. Pretty cool stuff for sure. The ocean plants are by far one of my favorite new features, so I'm a big fan of these. So here we have the coral, uh, all sorts of different fans and sizes and shapes. Um, I'll just have some overlay footage of some reefs. It's a pretty cool new feature uh, for sure. I don't know how important the actual corals are or what they're going to be like or, or be used for, but they look awesome. And I'm sure you can find some ways to use the blocks and builds, so those are, are definitely a pretty cool a pretty cool feature for the aquatic update. Here we have a thing showing the new trap doors. This is something I'm really excited about. So if I come over here, I can make new trap door. Oh, I can just yeah, why don't I just do that? So now we have different trap doors for jungle wood, spruce wood, dark oak wood, uh, acacia wood, and birch wood. And then, and of course, the old one is the traditional oak one. But these are awesome. As you can see, he's using the birch one for some lantern covering, which is really cool. I can definitely see myself using this one, though, for sure. And that one, too. This one kind of reminds me of a chocolate bar, but maybe I could use it. I don't know. It's definitely about time they added those things, so I'm pretty excited to be able to use those in some different builds. Uh, let me know what you guys think about them. I think they're pretty cool, though. And then the same thing applies to uh, buttons and pressure plates. I'm not going to show you guys all, all the different types, but <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine uh, it's just basically a, a button and, 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 and pressure plates for different types of wood. They also added new slabs, so for the prison Prismarine blocks, we got slabs now, there's that there. Uh, stairs with the prismarine as well, different blocks, they're looking fine. Building is going to be much better now that they're adding those different variants. Also, uh, a another new block, this one is very different, it's called Blue Ice, and it's found in the new iceberg biomes, you can craft it uh, with nine, is this packed ice? Yeah, packed ice. And I don't know, it's got a, it's got a luxurious look to it. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Like I said, you find it in the iceberg biomes. Not too sure what it's used for just yet, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. Another major thing they did was they changed pumpkins so that they spawn without the faces now. Which I love because the faces just threw me off. But if you still want a face, you can shear it and then it'll add a face. Which I think is something that they should have done a long time ago. But they're finally doing it so thank you thank you i'm a big fan of that i am a, i'm a huge supporter of that for sure moving on it looks as if over here we have a little demonstration of leashed boats so uh where is there is there a leash anywhere <laughs> okay then um <laughs> moving on through here new stripped logs now these these are really cool so they're just variants of, of the regular logs all you got to do is right tap or, or press and hold if you're on a touchscreen device and it'll go ahead and change the block into uh the 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 new version of itself 
And these new versions are just like stripped variants. They're, they're just much smoother. Uh, and I think these are going to come in handy with building for sure. And they look really nice. And here's the new mob, the Drowned. Now, these are basically zombies that died after drowning. And, and, and they'll turn into these. So I'll spawn one here. There you go. Oh, oh boy. He's, uh, <laughs> he's looking mean. He's looking mean. So sometimes they spawn with the tridents, sometimes they don't, and, uh, they're not coming out here to get me because, because of the sunlight. Uh, so I'm safe for now. I'm just gonna keep spawning them and, and taking a peek at them. But yeah, these are the, uh, these are the different guys. The drowned mob. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So more about that trident they were carrying. It's a brand new tool. We got a book here to explain it as well as the enchantments. Uh, so let's take a peek and see what this is all about. The trident can be used as a melee or range weapon and, uh, it can't be crafted so you gotta find it off of one of the dudes. Um, or you, you can find it in a shipwreck. The different enchantments include the channeling enchantment, which summons lightning when it's raining, the riptide enchantment, which pushes you forward when you're on water, uh, the loyalty enchantment, it gives you back the trident when you throw it, which is really cool, and then impaling just increases your damage when you're using it. Impaling books go from 1 to 5, it looks like, uh, and then Riptide can go from 1 to 3, the Loyalty can go from 1 to 3, and, and Channeling is, is just 1. And then here we have a whole bunch of different teleports that'll take me to some cool different things. Let's start on the right and check out this ravine. Uh, okay, here we are, here we are, oh, there it is. The underwater ravine, baby. Definitely, definitely pretty cool. So as you can tell, uh, it's got coral down in the bottom. Also a few magma blocks. It's a bare-bottomed ravine with a little bit of seagrass and some coral on the bottom. It's not too crazy, but these things are definitely cool, and I can see them adding some fun stuff down here in the future. Maybe some different dangerous fish, some deep sea life possibly? I don't know. The next teleport we got is a shipwreck. Let's take a peek and see where this thing is. It, ooh, right here. Perfect. The kelp is so, so sick. Uh, but we can move on over to the shipwreck and see what's popping over here. Now, these things generate differently every time, so they're not going to be the same, or at least uh, from my experiences anyways. Yeah, and they usually have uh, chests in them, so we can take a peek. These chests sometimes have paper. I've seen different uh, books and maps as well. Sometimes treasure maps, which are awesome. So overall, just a pretty cool feature, if you ask me. Uh, I'm a fan of these, so so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see these in action. Next up, we got the buried treasure, folks. This uh, this should be good. This should be really good. So here we are. Um, uh, where? Is the buried treasure? Ah, right here. That, uh, I'm sure shouldn't be happening. <laughs> oh my gosh. What was that? So the, uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and dig right here. So if I dig down, ah, there it is. There it is. What could be inside the buried treasure? Oh my. A whole bunch of raw salmon, uh, some regular raw fish, some turtle shell knee pads, which are sick. A diamond, a trident, a potion, some TNT, a totem of undying. This is this is pretty neat. Now these knee pads, uh, I, I want to throw these on uh, real quick. Yeah. Th th those are sick. Now, obviously, you can find these treasures on your own by chance, but they're much easier when you actually have uh, one of the treasure maps, which you can find in, in the shipwrecks and things like that. So, keep your eyes peeled, and you could be rich. And we're talking turtle knee pad rich, baby. Oh, yeah. And then the coral reefs, which I've already shown, and icebergs, which I guess doesn't have a teleport here, but I can put some overlay footage. They're, they're a pretty awesome new biome. It's a cold water thing. The salmon are all over the place. There's their blue ice, which is really cool. It's just an awesome experience, and I'm excited for it. It's like ice spikes, but in the water, and I feel it. I feel it. Moving down here, what do we have? New water mechanics? Um, oh, oh yeah, okay, so, so this is, this should not be hap- whoa. The water is in the half slab stair thing. That, that's really cool. They finally did that so we can make like bathtubs and hot tubs that don't look really weird anymore. That is exciting. And it goes around fences too. I can get with this. I, I can definitely 
get with this for sure. So it looks like the things that usually block off water just don't anymore, which is actually cool. It makes sense. Definitely makes sense. This is interesting though. I think this might be some sort of elevator. Okay, so this is the speed going up a regular ladder. And then if I were to go up this, it says faster. Just how much fast? Oh my gosh. That's uh, that's much faster than, uh, than the traditional ladder. Just throw it underwater and you'll be zooming. Yeah, so I guess all of these blocks down here that don't take up a full space are, are now completely submerged and you can still use them. Yeah, you can still use them. Uh, that's really, really cool though. I like it. They finally fixed it. This is definitely gonna change a whole lot for sure, but I I'm excited. It's a welcome change. It's it's even more. It's everything. Oh, I can get with this. Like I said, it's it's gonna be a huge change. Probably gonna mess up a lot of things that people have already made, but it's uh, it, it makes sense, right? It, it definitely makes sense. Some other features over here. Uh, this this is interesting. What do we have? Spawn phantoms. What? I, I I I haven't heard of these things. Yeah, these guys definitely look like they're gonna try to hurt me, so I'm gonna read up on them first. Uh, the phantom will always spawn in high altitudes. They will drop phantom membrane instead of leather, and the phantom will now burn in daylight. Okay, so I is it a hostile mob? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Wait, wait, you, you see, wait, wait. They're jumping around and flying and everything. Go, wait. What's go okay? I gotta just get out of here. I gotta just get out of here. That is uh, that is not my cup of tea. Stop it. Stop. What? Huh? Huh? What is this? Okay, there's no way this is supposed to be happening. They're just flying up. What's going on? Interesting stuff for sure. Cool though. Uh, I'm a fan. Always a fan of new mobs. And here's another new one. This might be the sea turtle. Yeah. Okay, so the turtles uh, have two different uh, eggs. One's for actually spawning them. One is the in-game turtle egg. Let's see what, uh, what we can learn about these guys. So turtles naturally spawn on beaches and they can be bred with seagrass, uh, which is pretty cool. Also, apparently zombies and other undead mobs just try to attack them, uh, especially the baby turtles. That's strange, so we gotta go save the day. We gotta rescue these guys. So there's a turtle. What's up, dude? Now, you're not gonna die because you're out of water, right? Do I need to... Do I need to... Scooch in there. There you are. So here they are, the, the turtles. Now these guys are probably going to be found swimming around in the water most of the time, but I'm sure you can find them on land occasionally. And do they come in different sizes? I can't, I can't tell. So it looks like they all just spawn as adults if you use the actual spawn egg. What, what happens if I put down the physical egg itself? It, what do we got here? Just, just, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Wait. Okay, guys. I didn't know you needed to be in the. W I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all you guys. But we got some cool pads. All I'm missing is the boots, and 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 proper visibility. <laughs> And then uh, a little showcase of what a buried treasure map looks like. You find these inside of shipwrecks and they have a little X where you can go to find some buried treasure. So I think that is just about it. Obviously more coming soon. This isn't the full update for uh, the aquatic update. It's just a few of the features. Um, they're still rolling them out, but this is what we got so far. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned a little bit more about this update with me. I'm excited now. This this is, uh, this is something I can definitely look forward to seeing. I, uh, I can't wait to explore some of this, uh, in my own time. And, is that a dancing turtle egg? Indeed it is. Indeed it is. <laughs> so that's just about it, folks. Thank you guys so much once again for stopping by, for watching the video, and for having some fun with me today. I'll see you all in the next one. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, drop a like. Once again, thanks to Gfriend Yuju28 for making this map. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.